if you compare the type of work that, certainly from Ramsey's point of view, that he's been busy with and that he still does, and now you look at what is going up on the wall in an exhibition, yeah. I mean, that surely that's got to make you feel proud. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's look, it's an evolution. It's it's. I mean, you remember when we first met? Yeah. You know, and uh, could never forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we first met, and and one thing I said was, you know, look, I've I'm, I'm just I'm becoming a hamster in a wheel yeah. of yeah. just creating photos, and it's not really giving me it's not feeding my soul and, yeah, yeah. and it just so happened that i think at that time you guys were also looking for something to evolve in your in your yeah. uh, gallery mm -hmm. so it was just sort of a good mix yeah and yeah you've taken me from a photographer and opened my eyes to being an artist which yeah. is something that you know i never actually i never thought i would do look it was it, if you if we look back at it, it was it was destined to happen. Yeah. It was just fate. If, yeah. if if one believes or doesn't believe, it, it was just meant to happen. Yeah. That journey of where I was going with you know photography and yeah. art form in my way, and what you guys were looking for as far as a representation of your gallery and mm -hmm. how you see things, um, it couldn't have been a, a better match. Yeah. You know, I remember calling you. And when you guys came over, I, I remember saying, look, I've had it. I remember. Yeah. I've had it. It was a meltdown. Yeah. It was a bit of a meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. having a meltdown. Because it, it just didn't make sense to me. It, yeah. it, you know, you, you're giving all this passion and all this love and all this uh, technique and you're learning and you're, you're just filling your head with knowledge of mm. all these things. Yeah. And then you're presenting this and people love it. But what I started noticing was that people were loving it for one second. It yeah. became a social media sensation for yeah. one second or two seconds. And yet each one of those pieces that I was doing, yeah, you put the photography, I put a lot into it. I had yeah. put, you know, months of preparation and styling and hair and makeup and resources and money and, mm. and so, oh, nice picture. And they go to the next thing. And I said, you know, this has to stop. Yeah. So I, somehow I need to find something yeah. that just says, oh, okay, yeah. I'm not, I don't want to turn. I want to just... Yeah. I just want to breathe it all in. Yeah. And I figured that would be taking it to the next level, which is art. Yeah. Yeah. Taking my well, photos to, to art. And yes, it has. It has. Yes, yeah. it has. You connected more with Sam's work than with mine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But but that's, you know why? And that's honestly, uh, and I love you, but the, the fact <laughs> is because she's a woman. Oh. And if you look at all my photos, yeah. everything I've ever done in photography, it has always been towards the feminine side. Mm. Yes. It's always been yeah. related to femininity and yeah. to the empowerment of femininity in, in a woman. Yeah. And Sam has this gentleness in yeah. her work yeah. that I just resonated to. Mm -hmm. I love yours, but yeah. Yeah. No, I love yours. Sure. I love I, mean, I love yours. Sure. But Sam's work just blows me out of the water because it's she just has I just feel. Mm. I'm I'm drawn in. And I, I, I could just stare at it. She okay. has such a gentle touch with me. You think it's, it's maybe because you have such a, a, a feminine style Definitely. and a minimalist style? I think like the style for me obviously took a while to come together. Mm -hmm. I've always obviously enjoyed minimalism, enjoyed femininity. But until I actually started working a little bit longer on it, did it come into place? Mm -hmm. And I do feel it's because um, my, me, myself, I am a soft, gentle person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that translates into my work. hundred percent. Yeah. hundred. If someone was to say, show me some, you know, pictures or sorry, artwork. Yeah. And you were there and five others, I would always be able to spot yeah. yours. Always. Yeah. There's yeah. always a gentleness yeah. about you. But it took long to get there. It's not easy to develop your style. Yeah. It's something that comes with time. Which is an amazing, yeah. actually, that's a very good thing because that's also something that I'm learning on this journey, yes. right? It's yeah. it's not an overnight boom. No, no, no. You're no. an artist. No. No. It's, it's, a, it's a journey. It's, it's, a, it's a proper journey. Mm. And I mean, I know just from the ones that I've done for myself, how long I'm constantly thinking about it yeah. afterwards yeah, and, right. and prior to it and then what could I have done better and it's just it's constantly yeah. evolving so yeah. it's not you just do something and no. you hang it up and oh, no. this is art but the one thing that I tried very hard to incorporate in each and every single mm. um, piece was hope mm. hope and light it's and beautiful. that we always have light at the end of the tunnel yeah. so that was this whole ethereal concept for me was to find that feminine you know yeah. all of them are with women yeah. and all of them are feminine and gentle and very soft but they still portray a certain aspect of humanity mm. that is over you know we we overlooked it but it's always yeah. hidden underneath yet there is this light at the end of the tunnel that brings us mm -hmm. yeah. ethereally heavenly mm -hmm. so that was my, my hopefully i i portrayed that in the yeah, works that we did oh, i hope so mm -hmm. <laughs> i have a question for you actually yeah when when you're doing these pieces mm -hmm. how do you 
sort of foresee the the effect that you're going to have when you finally finish it, if that makes any yeah. sense to you. Because yeah. I, I look at it and I'm like, okay, the, I know those are trees. Yeah. But how in the world did she, <laughs> did she come up with that this is going to end up looking like yeah. this? So what is the process that goes I through your head? The key is to not over visualize it, to not have this mm -hmm. pre thought. Because otherwise you go into it, you try force it to look that way. Mm -hmm. So instead, you kind of have somewhat of an idea. And then what I'm learning recently is, because I'm very much a perfectionist, is to kind of just let go and allow mistakes to happen and forge that road forward. So if I have something that I think is going to work, instead of being like, okay, I'm going to do it exactly like this, I'll take a few different shots, a few different mixed media, um, and put them together. And only once I start putting it together, that road starts yeah. and then from there I can it's take that it. yeah. so it's not pre-visualizing so too hard exactly okay. it's a journey yeah that's yeah. exactly but what it is but i think there's a feeling but there is a feeling there's a feeling there's yeah. that little bubbly sensation in your tummy that just tells you you're on the right track you don't know why you like it but you do yeah and there's that sort of it's, it's you know when you're not getting there i mean you would yeah. agree with yeah that. i yes. think look for for me i mean if i was if someone was to ask me well listen how did you come up with this or that I would say it was the, it's very simple. My my the, the DNA of how I photograph mm -hmm. or how I create art has always been the same. Yes. How do I showcase a woman mm -hmm. in the most vulnerable yet powerful? Mm -hmm. Because I find that vulnerability is their power. Yes. How do I find that vulnerability, that gentleness, that that elegance, mm -hmm. um, and bring that forth? Yes. So that has always been mm -hmm. the end goal, yeah. and then I work backwards, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. And I just had to learn. Like you did that this is a journey so mm. you can't have a copy paste yeah. sort of stamp on it, mm -hmm. no. it and as it, you're going it will look fake yeah it, it starts looking yeah. which you know we, we did some of the work and then we had to go back and and, and change a lot of it mm. because we said no nah, this is not looking the way it's supposed mm. to it's it's not it's not looking real enough yeah. it's looking like we've you know overdone this yes. or overdone forced that it. forced it yeah. and then once we start saying okay let's keep it simple mm -hmm. and just keep it as authentic as possible. Yeah. We just start saying, oh, wow, look at that, that wall, yeah. you know? Yeah. So yeah. for me, that that has always been the, the, the goal point. Mm -hmm. is I'm passionate about the, what I want to portray yeah. mm -hmm. and then I let that journey Take happen. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you feel that there's been a synergy between of the course. three of us? Yeah. And I don't know where it came from. I don't know how it, I mean, I know how it evolved, but it's actually something very special. I would say if, if you were to ask me, and quite honestly, I think that's, I think that's more important. Remember when we when we first set out to do this, mm. we were all having to do this little homework assignment. Yes. <laughs> what do we want out of this? I remember. Yeah. Right? And you had this great stuff and she had this huge list and we all had these lists. And yeah. for me, I want to have fun. I want to have fun with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Because that for me was the most important, was the yeah. connection that I established with you. Yes. And in that connection, I was able to play yeah. and mm. learn a new form which I've now fallen in love with, yes. you know. So that, that for me is uh, all heartfelt. Yeah. And but thank you. I never did photography purely for the sake of taking a photo. I wanted it to almost be a piece of art. Yes. Yeah. I wanted my photo to be the one that you put on a yeah. wall and say, wow, you know, look at that. So that, that comes back to your point of mm. wanting to be an artist, mm. you know. Now the difference is I've taken it just from purely a camera point of view yeah. to using the camera as just one tool of many tools yeah. in an arsenal and who to create who taught you ah uh, sam <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna give it to him no, we're gonna give it to you right? thank you sam sam did that sam did that no it's it's it's, it's you it's old you. man it's you old man oh, okay. it's you old man yeah. and i got you to thank for it so no really thank you for that okay no very honest with you i'm actually very excited yeah, yeah that's good I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think, uh, you know, we were looking at initially doing it in your gallery, yeah. That's but, correct. but we changed it. Yeah, but obviously. you spoiled that first because yeah. you decided on big pieces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that would be yeah. my fault. I, I figured go big <laughs> so, or go home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you didn't have enough space. Yeah. And, and the new venue is uh, oh. is outstanding. It's perfect. Yeah. I think it's, 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 I it's think almost a lot, romantic. Yeah. I think mm. a lot of people are going to be talking about the venue and the event. Yeah. I hope they spend time in the gallery they looking at our work I you know you. but no it's it's a beautiful place i mean that courtyard 
is going to be a fairy tale. Mm. Yeah. I think it's going to be a gorgeous fairy tale for yeah. that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I think uh, the, the musicians who are going to be mm. there, I, I just think it's going to be something so yeah. memorable. Yeah. Mm. Um, so make sure one of you has a camera that day. So <laughs> take some what I quite like is that the venue has actually come into the theme. I was just about yeah, to say that. The actual yeah. venue, yeah. It, it's as if it was, it's if it was picked yeah. for what's going to be on exhibition. Honestly, That's everything true. that has happened so far from that day, yeah. it, it just seems like this is how it was meant to happen, yeah. you know? Yeah. And um, look, I think it's going to be a great event. Um, I think people are going to be blown away by her work. I know. Yeah. That she she steals the limelight That's right from under. But you know what the nice thing is? She's so humble about it and she's so no. quiet. Because honestly, me, I would scream. I would scream. <laughs> Get on this table right now and scream. You know, but she's so humble. But that humility that you have yeah. just makes your work just so much more beautiful. This has been a great journey so far. It's been it really has. It's been it's been a privilege and an honor. And uh, and I know on the opening day. Uh, we are going to, and we have created something very special. For me, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, on this journey. And, you know, all I've got to say is we're just getting started. Oh, yeah. That's okay. great. That's good. From your, from <laughs> we're just your, getting started. From your lips to God's ears. Yes. As they say. As they say. <laughs> Thank you, Rafi. Thank you.